Today's topic is kind of vague and ambiguous. I don't know exactly what it is, but there's a bunch of stuff we're going to talk about. One of them is going to be ATX, or more specifically, the changes that are, going, that are being undergone by the ATX standard. And then the next thing is it's a bit of a coming out party for the Cooler Master Half X which is an ATX case, but again, it's along the lines of a new ATX standard that until now didn't really exist. So why don't I start with a bit of a history here. First of all, on your left, my right, we have a micro ATX motherboard. This motherboard is, it can be standard width, so you can see that it's actually a little bit narrower than a standard ATX board, but it can be wider. And then it's only four expansion slots. So that's a micro ATX board. That's pretty much the only difference. Next, we have a standard ATX board. So this is an MSI motherboard. You can see the biggest key difference is that it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven expansion slots. That's a full ATX board. Next, we have, well, this is where we start getting into the territory of what exactly is it. Gigabyte is calling this motherboard XL ATX. And what it is, is it is a standard width board. So if we compare it, you can see it is the same width as an ATX board, but the length is actually one slot longer. So here, I'm going to try and hold these up in a way that illustrates that a little bit better. There you go. So can you see now? Yeah, it is one slot longer. So while this motherboard actually has only seven expansion slots, there is one vacant spot up here at the top where they could theoretically put an expansion slot, but they haven't. So XLATX, so that means it has eight expansion slots, right? No, wrong, not necessarily. I would like to direct your attention to the motherboard on the uh, NCIX site behind me. This is the EVGA X58 classified four-way SLI. They're also calling this XLATX. Now, when they released this board, I said, oh, that's stupid. There's no case that it fits in. And uh, at that time, I was right. But like I said, one of the other topics today is the coming out party for the half X. May I direct your attention to the system to the left here? This has the EVGA classified four-way SLI motherboard with four GTX 480 graphics cards natively. I have made zero modifications to this case for it to fit. And this XL ATX is even a little bit different because I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but if you get the camera right in there, I'm going to have to tilt the case a little bit. Yep. If you get the camera in there, you see that mounting screw? You're going to have to zoom in really, really, really fast. See that mounting screw? OK, that corresponds. I'm going to move this board. Don't worry about moving the camera. That corresponds to that top left mounting screw there. So you can see it's at the edge of a standard width board. So this EVGA XL ATX board, besides being too long, is actually also too wide. But that's not going to stop the half X. So I think we've actually pretty much covered everything I wanted to say about the XL ATX topic. Thank you for checking out our NCIX Tech Tips on the XL ATX standard as well as the half X. Also, don't forget to check out my full unboxing. This is one beast of a case. It actually has nine expansion slots, so it can easily support the Gigabyte board. And it can just, just barely look. You can see there's like less than a finger's width of room between the power supply and the bottom video card. It barely supports the four-way SLI motherboard, but it does.